very good morning this is dr a arvindan professor in civil engineering department today we will discuss about the sustainable construction technology our course code is 21 ce 4151 so today we will discuss about the co2 topic in co2 topic is a modular construction method for repetitive works in the co2 mainly four topic is there one is the modular construction second topic is basic construction methods for steel structure third topic modular construction methods for repetitive works then last topic precast concrete construction methods so these are these four topic under co2 today we'll discuss about the topic 5 that is the modular construction in this topic various sub topic is there first one is a we will discuss about the definition of modular construction then what are the process of modular construction then modular construction offer several advantages compared to the traditional on site construction then challenges of modular construction then types of modular construction modular construction method for repetitive work then permanent modular construct then relocatable buildings so these are the various topic in under the topic 5 so first modular construction modular construction is nothing but it is also known as the prefabrication construction or off site construction is the method of building structures where the components or modules of building are manufactured off site in the control environment and then transport to the construction site for assembly so these models are typically built to standardized specification so it include uh, various elements of the buildings like walls floors ceiling plumbing electrical system and more next to process of modular construction in various steps involved first it designing design of planning so the building design is the created and the modular components are planned and uh, engineered to fit together the assembly next uh, factory fabrication so the modular components are fabricated in the factory setting by using the sp uh, specialized equipment and the skill labors so in this control equipments it help to the ensure the high quality and uh, uh, consistency in the construction process next transportation once the modules are complete they are the transport to the construction site this transportation it can occur via, uh, via tracks or train or other modes depending upon the size and distance then assembly on site the modules are assembled according to the pre designed layout so this it can involve the connecting the models together and installing the additional system like uh, plumbing and uh, electrical connect, uh, connection and uh, finishing the touch next uh, site work while the modular construction is reduce on site work uh, significantly there uh, it might uh, still be some site related uh, task like uh, uh, foundation preparation utility connection and landscaping next uh, volumetric modular construction in this method uh, entire room or units are constructed as models and uh, it complete with the interior finishes uh, fixtures and the fittings so these models are then transported to the site and uh, stacked or connected to uh, form of the final building so volumetric models it can include the individual apartments and uh, hotels and uh, even entire house also next panelized modular construction so the panelized construction uh, involve the fabrication of wall panels uh, floor panels and roof panels in the factory so these panels are then transported to the site and assembled to form of the structure so this method is offer the flexibility in the design and it allow the uh, customization of uh, finish the materials next hybrid modular construction so 
in hybrid model construction it combines the both traditional on site construction methods with the modular components. So, this approach it can the involve the uh, by using the modular units for certain parts of the building and a traditional construction for others uh, it depending upon the uh, uh, some factors like uh, uh, site connect, uh, conditions and the design requirements and the cost consideration. Next bathroom ports. So, bathroom ports are a specialized form of the modular construction where the complete the bathroom units are manufactured off site. So, these unit are fully equipped with the fixtures, uh, tiling, pumping and the electric system. So, they are then transported to the construction site and connected the building plumbing and the electrical infrastructure. Next type is the fabricated components. So, uh, while uh, the complete modular construction method uh, is prefabricated components uh, is involved off site fabrication of the specific building elements like uh, precast concrete walls uh, or uh, steel frames, uh, truss and other structural components. So, these components are then transported to the site and assembled in the overall structure. Next flat pack modular construction. In this method building components are fabricated in the factory and then uh, flat packed for the efficient transportation. Once on site these components are assembled into the models or structures. So, flat pack model construction is often used for a uh, small structure or temporary building or emergency shedder. Then popular cons uh, modular construction. So, this approach to involve the creating self contained parts uh, it which the uh, essentially smaller modular unit uh, that it can be connected or uh, stacked to form large structure. It is uh, uh, particularly useful for creating the flexible space and uh, accommodating the different functionary uh, within the single buildings. Next is shipping container construction. While uh, not a traditional form for the modular construction, uh, repurposing the shipping container as the building models has gained the popularity. So, uh, the shipping container are modified uh, and fitted with the in installation and windows, doors and utilities before being the transferred to the site for the assembly. Next advantages of modular construction. So, first advantage speed of construction. So, modular construction is significantly faster than the traditional on site construction. So, since the model construction are fabricated uh, simultaneously in the factory like, uh, like a setting while uh, site preparation occurs the overall the construction timeline is greatly reduced. Next consist quality. So, the control factory condition to ensure the high level of quality controls. So, these models are uh, manufactured by use the precious measurements and standardize the process uh, in result the uh, consist the quality across all units. Next reduce the site disruption. Uh, then modular construction is minimize the on site disruption uh, noise and uh, other wastage. This particularly advantages in the urban area uh, in sensitive environment uh, or site with uh, limited across. Next cost saving, although initial cost uh, might be higher due to the factory setup and the transportation. Generally the modular construction it can uh, save the money in the long run due to the reduce the labor cost and uh, faster project completion and better cost predictability. Next environmental benefits. So, the modular construction is offer the generate the less waste as the material it can be optimized in the control setting. So, additionally the reduce the construction time it can lead to the lower energy consumption and uh, few disturbances to the natural environment. Next design flexibility. Modular construction it is allow the for various design possibility and the models it can be customized to fit the project aesthetic and uh, functional requirements. Then improve the safety. So, the factory conditions is offer the uh, saver the working environmental it is compared to the on site construction sites. 
it reduce the risk of accident then less weather depend uh, dependency so since the most construction occur in indoor so uh, weather is related uh, is a delay or the minimize and resulting the more predictable construction schedule next challenges of modular construction first challenge is the design and the uh, engineering complexity so the design of modular unit is require the careful conditions of the transportation and the assembly the constraint which might limit uh, limit some architectural features next transportation and site access so large modular units it uh, it may require the specialized transportation and uh, cranes for the installations so the limited the site ac uh, accesses are challenging the terrain uh, it can complain the logistic then initial investment so the setting up the factory for modular construction is requires the initial investment which might uh, barrier for the small project or companies next limited the customization so while the modular unit it can be customized there might be the limitation on certain design features or material is due to the manufacturing and transportation constraint next coordination and communication so the effective communication and coordination between the factory and the construction site are crucial for the successful modular project any miscommunication is happen to lead the delay and errors during during the assembly next permitting and regularity challenge so the modular construction might face the different permitting and regularity ch challenges is compared to the traditional construction method it's require the close uh, collaboration with uh, local authorities next lack of skill labor so the skill labor that is specialized in the modular construction it may be less re readily available in certain region and uh, potentially affecting the quality and timeline the project next limited the retrofitting so the modification or addition to the modular construction is after the construction it can be more complex it's compared to the tra traditional structure next to permanent modular construction so the permanent modular construction is also known as the offsite construction or industrial constructions it is the construction methodology uh, it involve the manufacturing building components or ensue the so entire models offsite in the control factory environment and then transporting and assembling them all the final construction sites so it unlike the temporary modular construction uh, which often the involve the portable or relocatable structure is permanent modular construction it create the permanent structures it uh, it is the design to meet the same codes and uh, same standards as the traditional constructor building now we will discuss the some uh, overview of the permanent modular construction first uh, design and uh, engineering so the design process of permanent modular construction is involved the creating the detailed plans of the modules and their in, uh, integration to the final structures so the modular units are typically designed to the fit together the uh, seamlessly so it consider the transportation is considered and the need to for the uh, on site assembly next fabricate uh, factory fabrication in the factory setting the individual models are manufacturing by using the standardized process and uh, precision equipments so these models it can be customized to uh, meet specific architectural and functional uh, requirements so all the construction work including the frame insulation interior finishes and uh, plumbing electrical and uh, hvac system is uh, uh, completely in the factory next uh, quality control so the factory environmental enable the uh, stringent uh, quality uh, control measures so the standardize the process material and the skill labors is contribute to the consist the quality across the all the models so additionally the climate control condition it's help the uh, prevent the weather related damage to the material during the construction next transportation 
once the models are complete they are the transport to the final construction site so the transportation method it include the uh, trucks rail or other uh, maritime times transport for the large or more remote project next on site assembly at the construction site the models are lifted into the place by using the cranes and they connect to each other and uh, building fab foundations so the models are then secured and uh, finished the create and unfit uh, and uh, complete the success next integration so mechanical electrical and plumbing systems are integrated during the factory fabrication process so on site this system are connected and uh, tested to ensure the functionality next is speed of construction one of the key advantage of permanent modular construction is it's a rapid construction timeline so the simultaneously the work in the factory and the on site preparation is enable the project to be uh, completed in the significantly less time uh, compared to the traditional construction next cost efficiency so it control the factory environment and uh, standardize the process it can result the cost saving due to the reduce the labor and mod, uh, material waste as well as the minimize the on site disruption next is sustainability so the permanent modular construction is often the result is reduce the waste generation uh, due to the efficient material use and recycling the practice in the factory so additionally the shorter construction timeline it can lead to the lower energy consumption while during the construction phase next flexibility so the permanent modular construction is allow for high degree of uh, design flexibility so the models it can be uh, customized to meet the specific architecture and uh, func uh, functional needs and uh, technology accommodates wide the range of the building types from the residential to the commercial and the in institutional next code compliance so the permanent modular construction it must adhere to the same building codes regulation and standards as the traditional construction so this ensured uh, the finish the structure are safe durable and they meet all the relevant requirements then relocatable building so the relocatable building is also known as the modular building or portable buildings or the structures are the design the design and construct in the sec section or models at the off site location and then transport to the final destination of the assembly so these buildings offer a flexible and efficient alternate to the traditional construction method it is provide the numerous advantage in the in the term of uh, speed uh, cost effectiveness and uh, versatility thank you